Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another stamping compilation. This is featuring Clear Jelly Stampers CJS217 Snake. As you can probably guess from the name of the stamping plate, it's got a ton of snake images and it also comes with this handy little guide that has some inspiration photos as well as a step-by-step -step guide on the back side. In this stamping compilation video, I'm going to be using the stamping plate to create three different snake themed designs. And before I start, I'm just going to remove the blue plastic protective barrier that's on top of the plate. I'm also going to be using the Big Bling XL Clear Jelly Stamper for all of my designs. So let's go ahead and get on into the first design. For the first design, I'm doing a snake pattern and I'm also going to be using some iridescent foils. I'm starting off with Lumini Macarons Pistachio, which is a light pistachio green gel polish. Once that's cured, I'm going to be using some transfer gel from Born Pretty. I'm just going to apply a little bit in a couple little spots on each nail, cure that, and then I'm going to apply some iridescent foils on top. Then I'm going to use Clear Jelly Stamper 124 Snake in the Grass, which is an earthy, shimmery green stamping polish to stamp this green snake. I stamped that onto my middle nail and then I'm using a white stamping polish to stamp the details of the snake and stamping that directly on top. And the clear jelly stamper really helps with placement, especially with these layered stamps. For all of my other nails, I use the same technique for the base. So I use that same pistachio green, the transfer gel, and then the iridescent foil. And then I'm going to use Snake in the Grass again to stamp this patterned snake image. It's the same exact image that I stamped earlier, but just a smaller patterned version of it. I'm stamping that onto all of my other nails, and then I'm stamping the details of the snake pattern with the white stamping polish. I finished off with a glossy top coat, and here is the finished design. The second design is a super simple snakeskin design and I'm starting off with Butter London's Yummy Mummy which is a beigey brown polish with a hint of shimmer. I'm applying two coats of this as my base color. Then I'm going to be using Clear Jelly Stamper 001 More Like 1AM which is a black stamping polish to stamp this full size snakeskin pattern. Then I just cleaned up around my nails and applied a fast drying glossy top coat. And here is the finished snakeskin design. And the third and final design is a layered snake design. And I'm starting off by painting all of my nails except my middle two nails with two coats of Clear Jelly Stampers 124 Snake in the Grass. On my middle two nails, I'm going to be using Sally Hansen's Sweet Pea as my base, which is a super, super light green cream polish. Then I'm going to use 087 Enlightenment, which is a yellowy green stamping polish to stamp the main body of the snake. Then I'll use 124 Snake in the Grass to stamp the next part, which is the shadows. Then I'm going to use 123 Reflection, which is a silvery gold stamping polish to stamp some of the highlights and the belly of the snake. And finally, I'm going to use 001 More Like 1AM to stamp the details and the outline of the snake. On my ring fingernail, I'm stamping this layered rose image from the plate, starting with 009 ready for anything to stamp the base of the rose. Then 086 Berry Slushy, which is kind of like a coral pink stamping polish to stamp some of the highlights of the rose. And finally 001 More Like 1AM to stamp the leaves and the outline of the rose. Thank you. 
Again, I finished off the design with a layer of a fast drying glossy top coat, and here is the finished layered snake design. And here's one more look at the three designs that I created using Clear Jelly Stampers 217 Snake Stamping Plate. Let me know which design is your favorite in the comments down below. I'll leave links to where you can purchase this stamping plate as well as a list of the polishes that I used in the description as well. And if you're new to my channel, I do swatches, reviews, and nail art tutorials, so be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, but anyways, that's all for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!